Yo, what's going out there, boys and girls? This is Cesar Pisa from Lone Wolf Paintball, and I'm going to show you how to install the feed neck from HK Army on a Mini GS. And why? Who's the best source for Mini GSs in HK Army and everything paintball? LoneWolfPaintball.com. Ooh. Is, it hard? is this hard to do, Caesar? No, nah, it's not hard to do. So what we're going to do is you're going to need a 332nd Allen wrench to disassemble your feed neck. Okay. All right. Now, these feed necks do work on axes as well. X 2.0s. 2.0s. Yep. So you're going to disassemble this. Take that off to the side. Pull that off. All right. And then you're going to need a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench to take off the screw from the uh, aluminum feed neck. Take it off completely. I would use the nickel trick, the dime trick, whatever you want it to put in here to open up the feed neck so you can put it back onto the mini GS. A lot of people would use a screwdriver or something like that. So you're going to use it on the opposite side. Can you see my hands, Mark? I can. All right, your 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. Stick it inside. Screw it in. It, what it's going to do, it's going to open up the, uh, the bottom of the clamp feed, allowing it to spread open so you can get this around the feed neck. I know we got a lot of tough guys out there, but these aluminum feed yeah, necks do not have give. You're going to need something to split that. Space to open up. it up, basically. Am I still in frame, Mark? Yes, sir. All right. You might need a little more. So what he's doing is he's screwing the screw in, which is pushing into the nickel, which yep, is then pushing that's what's happening. open more. This screw is on the opposite side, pushing into the nickel, opening up the bottom of the clamp, allowing you to go around the ring. This is why he's our tech expert, guys. All right. So as soon as you have it on here, you can go ahead and lay it down on the counter or your tabletop, back off the screw. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. You got to use a 2.5 millimeter. Shame on UHK for switching the screw head. Have we tried if we can use the pre-existing screw? No, we can't use a pre-existing screw because it's uh, Threat one's different. metric. Yep. These are metric. Take the nickel out. And then you can go ahead, take the screw back out. Of this side because you have to go back into the opposite side to, for the uh, clamp to, to work. Also, too, if you want to put your uh, feed neck back together, the lever that matches the gun, you're going to have to take out the brass piece out of the lever and use the uh, Empire brass piece because the uh, thumb wheel is metric. So if you want to use your matching feed lever, neck lever, you have to pull this brass piece out of this sleeve here and then install it in this sleeve here so you can use the wheel. This part is metric. This is standard. So you can use this feed neck lever. This lever can be used. So, and that's how you install it right there properly. Fun. And the axe, I'm assuming, is almost identical? The X2.0, I should Correct. say? Correct. The X2.0 is identical feed neck to this feed neck on the Mini GS. All so, right. basically, that's that's how easy it is to install it. Uh, and right now, I believe these feed necks only come in black, but knowing HK Army, there'll be more colors coming down Correct. the line eventually. Yep. So, where and do that, they shop? Where do they get these bad boys? Shop LoneWolfPaintball.com. You got any more questions? Put them in the comments below, guys. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. See you.